Named after the titans of the Greek mythology, the Nissan Titan development started in 1999 and finally went in production in 2003 and went for sale in 2004. Nissan threw in a beefy 5.6 liter V8 that had great power and pretty outstanding towing capabilities. If it's taken care of properly, you should see at least 250,000 miles and I have seen some with upwards of 400,000 miles. But with that said, it still has issues. Welcome back to Watch This First. I'm Chris Automotive. Today, I'll be going over the common issues that people have reported with the Nissan Titan from 2004 to 2015 to better educate you about your ride or your potential purchase. Now, of course, I'm not saying do not buy the truck because it is reliable. Uh, just some things you should know before you buy it. So let's get started. First issue that every Titan owner will have is a cracked exhaust manifold. If you're looking at a Titan and it has a stock exhaust manifold, expect to replace it at some point soon. Owners have had their cracked manifolds welded, however they do end up cracking again due to the thin metal it's made out of. I'll have a solid aftermarket replacement down below for your convenience. If you suspect a cracked manifold, replace it as soon as possible because this can ultimately crumble up your catalytic converters and with the weird back pressure, suck up material from the cast into the engine and cause engine failure. So yeah, don't diddy dally on replacing that exhaust manifold. Low fuel pressure causing damage to the catalytic converters. If you're having a lack of power or below 55 PSI, then you are starving your engine. So replace that fuel pump so you don't have to replace the very expensive catalytic converters. The first gen Titan has a vent nipple on the rear diff, however it easily clogs. As the rear differential speeds up and the heat starts to increase, pressure builds up into the differential and the pressure over time starts to squeeze out of the easiest spot and that's the axle seals. The best solution is to extend the vent with tubing and attach it to the gas filter neck. There are kits for sale for about $20. And if you do that, it will be highly unlikely to clog again and you won't have to replace the rear axle seals again, which is a little tedious to replace. Most common in the 2004 model and went away in 08 and can happen without warning, the rear axle can totally fail, which could lock both the wheels and cause a crash, which is mainly due to what I just mentioned. Some owners complain about rear end winding before this happens and that is definitely a sign that is on its way out. Like most pickup trucks and cars in general, they are prone to rusting and more so in the salt belt north. Be sure to check for any noteworthy rust. Be sure to check rear leaf springs, shackles as well because if they rust, it's not very fun because if they break, they may penetrate the bed of the truck. Now here are other municipal issues. Clunking in the rear end when you shift from reverse, which seems to be a normal thing. Most of the issues got better in 08 and the truck also received a facelift and an updated interior which basically elevated the look of the Nissan Titan a bit. Pre-facelift cars have a lot more cheap plastics in the interior that can chip and paint can also wear off. Seats can wear over time so be sure to take care of them if they are in good condition. Overall, these trucks are pretty awesome. With preventive maintenance and you taking care of it the way you should, you'll have a very long lasting reliable truck that can haul nearly 10,000 pounds. Now, me personally, I would definitely opt in for 08 and up. Uh, just, just less issues with those models. However, pre-08 is still a good choice. You just need to make sure you do preventative uh, repairs so you don't have other issues down the line, like those axle seals. Those, uh, they're not that fun to replace. But once again, the VK, VA, and the 5-speed automatic transmission are built to last a very long time. You just have to take care of it. Now, if you have any recommendations for future videos, post them down below. I check my comments. That's it for now. Thanks for subscribing and thanks for watching. This is Chris Automotivate. Always appreciate and respect one another. We are all equal. I'll see you in the next video.